Hi, and welcome to this workout with me, Peter. Today, I'm gonna take you through my favorite warm-up, and it's a workout I do every time before I go out there for a run. Uh, we're gonna work on all the muscles you use when, uh, when, you, uh, when you run, and we're also gonna incorporate some upper body stuff as, and stuff like that as well. So we're gonna get the whole body warmed up to make it ready for that run. All right, if you got your mat ready, we're gonna start in the back of it. And we're gonna put the feet apart and we're gonna interlock our fingers above our heads and reach up and start to lean back a little bit. And then when we do a forward fold, put the hands down, just hang there for a few seconds and put the hands down and with straight legs, you walk to the front of the mat with the hands into a high plank. Now we're gonna stay here for a little while just to activate the whole body now. So press the hands into the mat. Activate your legs, your glute muscles, your core, shoulders, the whole body now. Come back and lift the right leg up and in, put the right foot in front of the mat and come into a lunge. And you should feel that you're working with the right, with the right leg, as well as stretching the, the left uh, hip flexor. You can reach our hands up and lean back a little bit. Hard with the balance sometimes, then we just come back to it. Come with the hands down. And now we're gonna do a few stationary lunges. So let's press up and come down. And every time you go down, try to get a little deeper. So do three more. And last one, now we stay down there. And now we're gonna come up don't put, try not to put the left foot down and come up into a um, march hold. So we lift the left knee up as high as you possibly can so you feel that you're activating that um, hip flexor. Take the left hand and press it into the leg so you're working with the hip flexor even more. As well, you should feel that you're really working with that right leg as well. From the foot up to the knee, glute muscle, and hip and whole way up there. We're not, still, we're not gonna put the left foot down, but we're gonna come down a little bit, and we're gonna come into a to warrior three. So lean forward, you should feel a little burn maybe in the right leg from all the balancing we're doing. And slowly we're now gonna put the left foot down with a, and we're gonna bend the knee and we're gonna come into a, first a warrior one. So we're gonna put the hand up and we're gonna twist. So we're gonna look forward. So you should feel you opening up the whole Part uh, the hip flexor and the inner thigh. And turn a little into a warrior two. Make sure we have the shoulders on top of the hips. So when we try to come deeper, we press that back part forward so the shoulders are still on top of the hips. And make sure we don't fall in with the right knee as well. The knee should be uh, pointing right over the, the toes. And keep breathing. Look over the right hand. Keep breathing. And still with the knee bent, we're gonna lean forward into a side angle. So you get to work with our right hip a bit more. If it's too heavy, you can always put the right hand on the knee instead. And really try to open up the left chest as well. 
keep breathing. And come into Warrior Two again. And straight on the right leg. Now both feet are gonna be pointing forward now. And we're gonna do forward fold. And we're gonna walk over to the right leg. Put the left hand on first. And then put the right hand on top of the left. And breathe out and press the head towards the knee. You should feel a great stretch in the right hamstring now. And we walk over to the left side, put the right hand on the left leg and the left hand on top. And breathe out and press the head towards the left knee. And keep breathing. And walk to the middle. Come up. Put the feet a little bit closer together. The toes should now be pointing out towards the corner of the mat. And we're gonna come down into a sumo squat. So first you can kind of move from side to side as to try to come a little bit deeper. And try to have the knee, the knees should be pointing over the toes there so, so it's not falling in like that. And when you're sitting down, we put the arm straight out. It's a little counterbalance. And keep breathing, and every time you breathe out, try to come a little bit deeper. Let's go for five more seconds. And come all the way up. Both feet should be pointing to the right. Come into uh, a runner's lunge. Put the hands down and right foot back and into a high, high plank. Now we're gonna get into uh, five push-ups. So slowly down, breathe out and come up. Two. Three, four, and five. And now slowly all the way down. Put the feet flat on the mat and come up into a little cobra. Here, activate the glute muscles to protect your lower back. And come down and into a downward dog. And here, you can pedal the heels up and down. So you feel you get a good calf, calf stretch. And keep breathing. And stop there, press the hip back and put the foot, feet further apart and walk back. And come up. Reach up again. Bend backwards a little bit. Put the hands down. And we're starting round two. Walk forward into a high plank. Now we're gonna add to this high plank and do right knee to right elbow, back. Left knee to left elbow. Let's do eight more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Now come in, reach the left leg up, put the left foot in front of the mat and into a lunge. Come as deep as you can to activate the left leg and to stretch the right hip flexor. 
reach the arms up. Come down with the arms, and with five, five stationary lunges, so press straight on the left leg, and come down. Three more. And now the last one, and we stay down here. And you know it, we're gonna come into a march hold, balance on the left leg now. So we reach the right knee up as high as we can. Put the uh, right hand on the, on the right knee and press. And if you can, you can lift your left arm straight up. And these balance exercises are so good to, to build foot strength as well, which is very beneficial when you run. And without putting the right leg down, we're leaning forward into a warrior three or airplane pose. And keep breathing. Make sure we don't hold our breath. If you can, you can lift your right leg a little bit higher up. You can lean forward even a bit more. Now slowly, we're gonna put the right foot down. We're gonna bend our left knee up with the arms and turn forward. So now you feel you opening up the right Hip, uh, hip flexor and the inner thigh. And turn into a warrior two. Now I'm having your back towards you. And every time we breathe out, try to push the right uh, hip forward so you come a little deeper, shoulders on top of the, of the hips. Make sure the knee is not falling in. And keep breathing and now lean forward into the side angle. Same here. If it's hard, you put the left uh, elbow on the knee. And if you can, look straight up towards your right hand. So you can see it's a beautiful day here in Gothenburg today. And they're preparing for the Gothenburg half marathon which is this coming Saturday. And now in, up to Warrior Two again. And straighten the left knee. I'm gonna turn now. You don't need to, but I'm turning and have the uh, feet pointing forward. Lean forward. And you know what's coming. We're gonna walk over to the right leg. But now we're gonna add to that. We're gonna try to twist open, so up with the right hand as much as you can. And this you're gonna get better at every time. So if you only come a little bit now, then that's great. That's what you do. And then try to come a little bit further every time. And down we go and walk over to the left leg with the right hand on lean to the side a little and twist open and come down with the hands we're gonna turn both feet to the to the left come into a runner's lunge Put the hands down and set up for five more push-ups. Breathe in and come down. Breathe out and up. Down. Whew. 
four, I think. And one more. Five. And slowly down. All the way down and into Cobra Pose. Try to come down with the shoulders as well. Activate the glute muscles. And come down and into a downward dog. Almost done now. Great job. Pedal. Feet up and down if you want. If you want, you can fall to the side a little so you get a little bit more of a stretch on the whole left side. Turn, whole right side. Now, next move, we're gonna, we stop there. We're gonna do something called toe breaker. So you're gonna bend your knees with the toes bent over. You're gonna put the, put the knees down and you're gonna have come into a child's pose with the toes bent under you. It's a great stretch for those toes. This can be a little painful in the beginning, so, so do whatever you can. And if you can, come down with the head. You feel that great stretch in your toes. Almost towards painful, but it shouldn't be. Not too painful. And keep breathing. Let's put the feet flat on the ground and come into the last pose, where we, a hero pose where we sit on the feet. And this one is so good for runners. This is something I do pretty much every day. Uh, the first thing I do on the bed uh, when I get up in the morning, and it's, you, you're stretching the, the ankles all the way uh, up to the shins. Also great for the for the legs, for the thighs as well, and the knees. If you have problems with like shin splints, then this one is great as well. And this is the last pose, and, and in this one you can sit for as long as you want to. I like to sit here for like a minute or so, and, uh, and this should get you warm enough and, and ready for that run you're gonna do. And when you're going out for a run, it's always good to, to, uh, to do a little running warm-up as well. Uh, where you build the speed up slowly. Maybe do a couple of strides before you get into the, the actual running session. Thanks for taking part today and have a fantastic day, everybody. See ya. Bye.